Absolutely. Well, we're delighted to be joined now by the match winner uh, up at the Lamex Stadium. We have Max Sanders uh, ready and waiting. Max, thank you for joining us. And uh, as you probably just heard Jabbo there uh, talking about the characters shown today, even sat here watching from the studio, that character shone through. That was a really big performance from you and, and all the boys. Yeah, no, definitely. Like I could say, it was like it was pretty different to Tuesday night, and we knew it was going to be a different game. <clears throat> like we weren't at it on Tuesday, and then it was just buzzing that we started well today and really were up to the fight, and you know we got the result, which was which was the most important thing. As Jab also just alluded to, there it did seem to boil over a little bit at the end. We did a very good job on Stevenage under a lot of pressure from them. Uh, it, there was a lot of professionalism shown, especially from a a fairly young team there. Um, what's it like playing in there? Maybe a, alongside players that haven't played in this league tons, but have put on a show today and, and really coped with that pressure. I think um, over the course of the season, we've shown that quite a few times, and like I think we've got it in us to come and put on a performance like that. And not many teams come here and win. So yeah, I think the young players we've got. I know I'm well. I'm 25 now, but uh, I still feel like. I haven't proven everything that I want to in this league. So, yeah, I think we showed such character to come here and keep a clean sheet, first of all. And, you know, not many teams win it. So, the boys are absolutely buzzing in there, to be fair. So, yeah, it was great. Well, they're buzzing because of your goal as well, of course. And your first goal for the O's, uh, we're going to take a look at it now. Uh, I'm guessing this is your first chance to watch it back. But we went quite direct with this one. A fantastic bit of work from Ruel and, and Joe up top to to win those balls. Is that something you've been working on in the week to, to tr maybe be a bit more direct against this Stevenage side? Yeah, we were working on me coming more inside um, from long balls because we knew that there was a bit of a strength. We could jump on the second balls in and around their box. And I'm a player who likes being in and around the box. I think that's a strength of mine. I can, I can manoeuvre the ball and get shots off. So to see it go in, I was buzzing because I, I didn't actually catch it that cleanly. Um, but Obviously, the accuracy was there, and I was just, yeah, I didn't really know what to do here, so I was just buzzing. But it yeah, looks it like nice it looks like you caught it cleanly, and it, 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 it's gone nice side footed into the side net. So maybe just uh, say that you did catch it cleanly. Is that a, a, a great finish, no? Yeah, I, I mean, I've hit it, I've hit it cleaner before, but I think I just hit it. I know I wanted to hit it across the keeper, so as soon as as soon as I looked up, it was already in. So. Yeah, it was one of them that you don't really know what to do after you score a goal like that. And I was just buzzing I could, you know, do help the team because um, I haven't scored this season. I know I haven't played much and my injuries have been the reason. But yeah, to score your first goal, I was buzzing. You know, hopefully I can get many more. Well, I was going to say it must have been, or it must have been, it must have been sharp, such a frustrating start to your career here at Orient because. Seems every time you're, you're getting back into the team, uh, another injury strikes. How have you coped with that? And then uh, you've touched on it, but how good must that feel to then come in stone and be the match winner? Yeah, it's, it's hard. Like it's um, when you keep coming back in, feel like you're getting your match fitness back because it's hard to come straight back in after an injury and get up to speed. You know, when people have been playing all season, um, but when you keep coming in and then you feel like you're getting there and then you break down again, it's tough. But you know, I've got. I feel like I'm able to cope with it because I've, I've dealt with a lot of injuries throughout my career, and I'm I'm doing everything I can to, to stay on the pitch. And you know, I've been working hard to, to come back from injury and feel sharp out there. I uh, don't think the last two games I felt that good, but today I felt a bit more sharp, a bit more back to how I want to feel on the pitch. So yeah, it was it was a good day all round. Um, looking ahead, Max, we've got a bit of a break now, but then on Good Friday we go to your former club. Lincoln, they're flying at the minute and, and both of us are in the playoff chase. You must be excited to go again against another kind of six-pointer kind of game. Yeah, that's what you want at the end this, this time in the season. You want them big games. You know, we want to play Stevenage today. We want a six-pointer. We want another six-pointer. We can go there and win. And, you know, we've proven it today. We can beat anyone uh, out there. So I think we're going to it full of confidence. Um, we've battled. We've won ugly today. We've won by playing teams off the pitch. We've you know, we've gone to top of the league and won there. So I think when we're at it, we're, we're just as good as anyone. It's just finding that consistency. I know we haven't had it in the last few weeks, but yeah, I think the performance side of it, we've, we've really played well this season for large, large, large parts of the game. Well, we'll let you go and uh, enjoy the rest of your afternoon slash evening and uh, enjoy celebrating that first goal match. Congratulations.
Thanks a lot, fellas.